think that looks better now. Ugh. I know I'm doing the back because I don't care. <laughs> uh, now, oh, I just dis um, I just discovered that you could just use a hair dryer to use it as an iron, and I have an iron, but I'm too lazy to use it, and I want to leave right now, so. I don't know. It doesn't look that bad. <laughs> but there's still creases. And who cares? Whoa! Hi everyone! Um, this day is gonna be so basic because I'm gonna go to Cava? Is that what you see? Canvas? <laughs> I was like, Canvas? What? That's where I do my schoolwork there. Yeah, we're gonna go to Cava. Cava. And I'm going to try the Emma Chamberlain bowl. And I read through like the description of it and it's like hummus and pita bread or something like that. So I never tried Cava in the first place. So we're gonna try to do that. And after that, I might like read a little bit and take some photos because... Wow, I'm gonna do a what's in my bag tour. Um... So, I might read a little bit of this, it, and what else? Yeah, I'm gonna take pictures out of nowhere with my Polaroid, and I'm gonna take like two or three because these refills are so expensive for no reason. And last but not least, I might take pictures on my 35 millimeter. Jeez, I'm gonna take a picture of us. Okay. We're not taking a picture about this because it's expensive. And yeah, so I'm going to figure out how to get there. There's one in Costa Mesa. I think this bag is heavy. There's one in Costa Mesa and Anaheim Hills. And I'm going to the one in Anaheim Hills because I've never been there. Even though it's not even that far away. Because it's more inland and there's basically nothing else to do there. Except seeing hills at the desert. Okay. Let's go. Um, wait, I actually need to find the directions for it. I don't know if I can record and have directions on. But first I need to charge my phone. Because it keeps dying. And recently I've been deleting my videos because my phone storage is like getting full really fast. And there's something wrong with this AC. It gets cold at one point and then after it like, I don't know. It's already at the max. Like, it's not cold anymore. What's happening? Um, <laughs> dang, today's crazy. Um, yeah, wait, I have to find directions. I think the directions are on, and I've done this before going to LA, and it was a mess. So let's go. Um, I actually do not know if I closed the garage. Oh well. And look at me, I finally got some sunglasses. Okay, is this real close? It's always this section of the street that's always in construction for the past like i don't know since the start of the year the street has been janky and they have been doing it and nothing happened <laughs> oh yeah as you can see uh, i didn't post last week because i wanted to take a break and i actually had no idea like no video idea to have or to put so I just took a rest <laughs> so now I'm back hopefully I'm still relevant I read the description but I didn't memorize it so I'm gonna guess what's in it so I think this is a falafel and then this is like pesto sauce I think and then onions and then <laughs> tomatoes and avocado I think that's feta cheese I think salad on the bottom that's it so this is basically vegetarian and I'm gonna try it okay but it's actually spicy hummus falafel pickled onions avocado olives Persian cucumbers I didn't know there was cucumbers in it and there's tomatoes where are there tomatoes yeah the cherry tomatoes feta and ooh, what is that Shuk Shug? S-K-H-U-G. I don't know how to pronounce that. And 
Middle Eastern hot sauce made with chili peppers. Cilantro and spices. And it was $14.17. It was expensive for a salad bowl. That didn't make me full. Well, that's good. Why do we have the falafels like tender? Because I had some from Trader Joe's and it was kind of dry. <laughs> Didn't have um, hot hummus, so I just got regular. It was supposed to be hot hummus. And here's an avocado. Okay, my verdict is it's whatever. It's not like I want to keep getting it. It's just like, I don't know, just one experience. And it's kind of expensive. It's like $14. And let me take that back on the falafel because it kind of got too mushy. I don't know if falafels are supposed to be like that. Since I didn't get the hummus, the spicy hummus because didn't have any, I think it would have been better because she liked the spicy hummus. So... I don't know if it's fair to like rate it kind of whatever, but I give it like a 7. 6 or 7 out of 10. It's just whatever. Okay, next time in the future, I might get it again when it's with the spicy hummus because it might taste better with it because it already has the seasoning, but it's just missing a little bit of spice in it. And or I might get something from there that I pick instead. I don't want to rate the whole place in general. Like, oh, it's whatever, but I don't know. I'm going to eat there one more time with the spicy hummus or just end up making my own bowl and call it Gabriel's bowl instead. Okay, now I'm going to go somewhere where I could take pictures. And after that, we might go um, thrifting because there's one near here. And after that, I might just read a little. This will be our hangout for the day. Okay, so I think I'm going to end up going to a canyon park and go hiking. This is very unplanned right now and it's only like 11 minutes away. So, see you over there. I actually do not know where I'm going. Where's the trail? Oh no. Why? Why am I doing this? I'm just here to take pictures. I'm literally at a hiking trail by myself. Dang, look at this squirrel. Hi. I don't know, it's gonna jump at me. See, I do not have the right shoes for these. And there's like chocolate stain that I never removed. I don't know if they're even for hiking. I did not expect to hike today. I'm scared I'm gonna get attacked by an animal. So this is basically the map. I'm just trying to find somewhere to get like a picture. I don't know where. Yo, raccoon. Here's some pamphlets. I might get one. I don't even know this place even existed. So I don't know where I'm at. I don't know how far I'm gonna go. We're just gonna walk then. I don't wanna get attacked by like a grizzly bear or even Bigfoot. I wanna get somewhere where I could actually like take a picture that's cool. So I'm gonna keep walking. I'm like literally by myself here. There's like no one. So there's a stage here and I'm gonna go on it. Let's see. Not the rattlesnake. I'm not going there. I don't know if people even come here. Okay, but actually the trail here is much cleaner than the Hollywood trail. Cause I went on that and it was disgusting. There's a little bunch of horse poop and here's like all fresh. And there's like people like going up the hills here. I don't know how you go up there. I don't know if I'm even gonna go up. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over a bridge. I'm scared like a bug is gonna come out. I might take a picture of this. Nah, the lighting is not good. Go somewhere else. Okay, I don't want to be here too long because I don't want to see a coyote. <laughs> I'm just here to take pictures. Where do I go? Oh no, I'm going to trip over this. Please don't trip. Ah. Okay, I'm going to just run.
there are people that are like hiking by themselves and i don't know how they're so brave to do that because i'm kind of scared right now because nature is scary so i might take a picture of this like a polaroid over here I took it. I don't know how it's gonna be. I have to like cover it and put it in my bag. I might try to find a squirrel and take it on Polaroid. And I have to make sure the flash is off because I don't want to blind it. Oh look, there's one right there. It's on top of a branch, so I'm gonna take it. I took a photo of a squirrel and I don't know if it got taken well because the lighting was bad because of the saddle, but I increased my exposure on it and i don't know if it's gonna turn out right <laughs> i didn't even turn on the flash because i don't want to like hurt the squirrel okay i think that's a dead end i'm gonna turn around i might use my 35 millimeter to catch this small waterfall <laughs> i think so i'm gonna take a picture of that Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this road with my Polaroid and see what happens. Okay, that was an interesting experience and I've never done that before. Just taking pictures, especially like hiking. And I wanna see if they came out right. I don't know if this came out right or it's still developing. And here's this one. I mean, it's whatever. I think they're still developing. Or I didn't take it right. I want to save this and I got some tiny sunglasses. <laughs> I always wanted them. So they were like $8. And there was a polar camera. It was kind of expensive. It was like $35. And I was like, oh, it's a different brand. And it's going to be really expensive. Okay, here are these sunglasses. Yeah, or I have it like this. I'm like a new meme now. <laughs> I look like an alien. I don't know if I'm going to wear this. I thought it was cool, but I don't know if I'm gonna resell it or something. Why am I going to a Target dressed like this? I am in Target uniform, basically. People are gonna think I work here, which I actually don't. Um, that's it. I don't know what else to put, but yeah. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Why is my face like lopsided? I think it's like the camera. It's like mirroring or something. It's weird, but I could fix it, but I don't want to.